Hello once again. Today we're going to be looking at the very important thing called bullet patterns. Bullet patterns are what really makes up a house mark game. Uh, a lot of us really love this kind of intense bullet hell environment. And, and, and in Next Machina, we're doing things a bit different. So that's one thing that we really need to look at and understand. Another thing is the level of composition, how you move to the next level from one another, and then how you see overall all these secret levels and everything. And one more thing that we're going to be talking about is the enemies. So enemy design is always front and center. Uh, we've been making these kind of games for a long time, so we have a good understanding of what makes up uh, uh, you know, very interesting uh, enemy patterns. So that's really bullet patterns, enemy patterns, and then how the levels are made up. Let's go talk to our guy for more information. Let's talk about levels and level structure, yeah? So one of the things I really liked about uh, Next Machina is that you can actually see these next levels that you're, you're about to play. What was the thinking behind that? Yeah, we went through plenty of iterations in that. Um, we started off like having much more space in between levels, but we noticed that uh, it felt much more interesting and immediate to always see the next level that you're about to go to. Right, right. And it made the world feel a lot more believable. And connected. And yes, exactly, yeah. Also, there's secret levels in the mix, uh, and you can see those. Yeah, we have this uh, special type of visual language for all the secret levels, which acts as a tease, like, oh, okay, how did I, or how would I get there? Right, And right, stuff right. like that. Yeah. So we're trying to, like, evoke questions and make you find uh, the secret triggers so yeah. that you can actually access them. So there's always this little hinting uh, in the background, like, oh, this is the next level, and mm. hey, what's over there? That might be an area that I haven't explored yet. Mm. So it makes you think and go back. Um, what about the bullet patterns? Uh, that's a big thing. For example, mm. in Resogun, there was a lot of different uh, bullet hell elements. Um, how does that work in Next Machina? Is, it, is there any differentiation? We kind of figured at one point in this that we want each world to feel like its own uh, place and provide very different challenges because that makes it a lot in easier to understand for the player. Like, okay, like whenever I go to a room and I see this turret enemy, I know what kind of beam it will shoot. Yeah. It won't shoot bullets at one room and it won't shoot wavy bullets in another. There's always something that you can like count on. So each level has sort of a theme mm -hmm. to their bullet patterns and then uh, you can kind of learn uh, the tricks on how to beat uh, each level according to what the theme happens to be. Uh, we figured that every single enemy needs to have a role and a place, and the clearer the role uh, is, the easier it is to, for example, find out what we're missing in a world and what kind of uh, gameplay we want to, uh, a world to include. So there's, there's smaller enemies, uh, there's bigger enemies, you call the smaller enemies are like popcorn yes. enemies or something? Yeah, they're one hit kills and the bigger ones of course take a lot more beating. Right. And for example the shooting enemies, those provide a completely different gameplay as well because it always pulls you to them. Because mm -hmm. they don't have to move, they can shoot you. So that always makes you go to them and we can like sprinkle them yeah. in a way that like we're like making the player navigate and make his like own decisions like, okay, do I want to take care of the shooting enemy now or later? Uh, do, do you plan these or do you just mm. put a lot in there? Is it already that you have a lot of knowledge from past or how does this come by? I would say like it's a mixture because like you, you can never like do proper paper design. You always need to like actually see how it feels. So it's kind of a uh, intuition mixed with, uh, you know, just testing a lot of combinations. Of course, we have our like own ideas about how things will work, but of course, that's that's the main thing that you you need to have the patience to test them out and yeah. like see what they can provide to the overall gameplay. Uh, for example, when the turret shoots at the wall, it will split the room in two. Right. And so after that, divider. yes. After that, you need to dash through the beam, or take care of the turret and be, give yourself a bit more breathing room in the level. So it's like these micro decisions that you need to make right. in order to... So if you don't shoot the turret, you know you're going to have to dash through a lot. Mm. And if you shoot the turret, you can just run around, but you might have more enemies on your ass mm. at that point, so it becomes more hectic that way. Mm. So there's always first decision, next decision, and so on. Then it's much more easier or satisfying for the player as well, because it's very apparent what's required of you in this situation. 
and the decisions that you make will become much more apparent. Whereas if you have three enemies of the different color, but they have the same silhouette and almost the same behavior, then it's kind of like... Mm, it's well, hard to approach. Yeah, you don't really know what's required of you or what the enemies are supposed to do. Right, so in the end with the, let's say, something that may look less complex, we, we get a lot of uh, straightforward complexity. You get a better understanding of the overall environment and behavior of these enemies. And uh, hopefully that's exactly what, what makes it for satisfying gameplay. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, very interesting to hear about the enemies and, and, and all the learnings we've had from, from Resogun and other games. Um, can't wait to see uh, how, how everything plays out in the end. Mm, likewise. So that's it. A lot of bullets, a lot of enemies, a lot of cool things happening. Uh, next Machina is coming out soon, so stay tuned for more.